Blue. It's not just one of my favorite colors. It is also nowadays a scent profile. So I managed to go through my humble collection and find five men's fragrances that are bluish in note. A scent profile that can be worn on these cool winter days. If you wanna know what those five are, hey, stay tuned. Meet me on the other side of this short intro and we're going to get right into it. I will see you in just a second. Yeah, yeah, it is your boy Trey Sense. Listen, and we got a little bit of a video, a little bit of a discussion for you. You know how we do it here on the channel. Five men's fragrances from my collection, keyword, my collection, that have that blue note, which some can say, or some will say it's in Broxen or whatever, but you know the scent profile. The, uh, let's get some of the more obvious ones out of the way. The Blue de Chanel's, the uh, Sauvages, those type of scents. Those are blue type of fragrances. Um, heavy and Broxen, just, you know, that deep, rich type of scent. Now, I got five, okay? I got five. I got five on it. Some of y'all too young to remember that. No, most of my viewers are old enough to remember that. Okay, uh, anyway, I digress. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. Let's get into the most interesting one on this list. It is from the house of Narciso Rodriguez, and it is Blue Noir. Now, some of these have blue in the name. Most of them have blue in the name, but that's just coincidental. Anyway, Narciso Rodriguez, Blue Noir for him. And this is the EDT. This is the EDP. Yeah, EDT. I have not smelled the EDP. This one is probably the most unique out of all the fragrances on this list. Great itemizer as well. Going to try to hold the bottle up more so you can see it. Oh, yes. This, I will tell you, is a niche quality fragrance. I'm very, very curious about the EDP of this Blue Noir. Oh man. But that's deep, rich, a little bit inky. It only takes a spray or two of this to get you where you need to be. Oh man. This is the EDT, but it smells like it's got a very rich um, perfumous oil or alcohol concentration to it. it. It doesn't smell like a typical EDP. Not a lot of alcohol burn when you first smell, uh, spray it and smell it. A little bit of inkiness, just a hint of sweetness there to it. Just a little bit of an embroxin smell to it. But nonetheless, this one to me is a very masculine but dressy type of scent. I like this, I like this a lot. I would wear this if I had a very nice sweater and it was really, really cold outside. Not necessarily the Netflix and chill type of scent, but it's a very unique type of scent. Let's say you're doing something um, uh, to enhance your culture a little bit, like maybe going to a play or going to a show or something like that where you got to dress up, you know, or you going to a, a, a nice fancy dinner or just or a winter wedding. I think this would go great with that. I, I definitely would dress this one up. This is not a hoop and shorts type of fragrance. Now, granted, with that being said, you can wear what you want to wear, how you want to wear it, when you want to wear it. But I think it would be a shame to put this on with a T-shirt and uh, some hoop and shorts. Now, you could, but I... I mean, why? Why would you? <sighs> yes, inky. Just a little bit of inkiness to that, if you know what I mean. A little inky, little blue, little sweet. 
lot masculine, just a very different fragrance. If you're looking for a nice blue fragrance that's different, but with just a hint of blueness to it, this is one that you should check out. And again, great for this time of the year. I personally think the colder the day, the better. Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir or Blue Night, because I'm pretty sure that Noir means night. Let's do a double play. Let's get two from the same house. Okay. This one I just picked up and I am thrilled with it and can't wait to give it a wearing. May wear it this weekend. It is from the house of Polo. It is Polo Deep Blue Parfum. And this is also from the house of Polo. And this is Polo Blue the Silver Cap Collector's Edition. I can't find a whole lot of info on this one. Um, but yeah, I like it. Oh, man. That Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir is cutting up now. Give myself a little squirt of this Polo. Blue Silver Cap Edition. Is it different from the original Polo Blue? It is. It's funny, that one is deep blue. Well, this one is a little bit deeper than the original Polo Blue now. If you have the original Polo Blue, I think you should consider pulling it out in this uh, time of the year. Because that's a nice chill time cuddle scent. Love Polo Blue, been wearing it for several, several years and absolutely love it. It is a compliment gift, but we're talking about this one. If you see this one, uh, I definitely think you should pick it up. I hate to put fragrances like this in many of my videos because, well, it's just hard to get. I lucked up and picked this up. Um, Nashville area. I want to say it was Nashville. It was either Nashville or Brentwood. I want to say it was in Nashville. And it's 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 a little bit warmer than the uh, original Polo Blue. A little bit more woodsy and just a little bit deeper. That could be why they, you know, they didn't call this one a parfum. It's a parfum concentration. But nonetheless, I like this one. I like it a lot. I don't know how this compares to Polo Blue Parfum. And I know that sounds funny and it may be a little bit hard to keep up with, but remember they make Polo Blue the EDT. They make Polo Blue the Parfum now, which I think just came out right. It's in a different shape bottle. And then there's this one. Again, the Silver Cap Collector's Edition or the Christmas Ball Ornament, whichever, whatever you want to call it. But this is a little bit deeper and richer than the original Polo Blue. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. The original is a little bit lighter and a little bit fresher, but definitely a blue type of fragrance that you can wear this time of the year. Polo Blue Silver Cap Collector's Edition. Again, like I was saying, I picked it up in Brentwood, Tennessee on one of the last road trips I went on uh, before I got my divorce, and actually it was the last stop I think I was on my way somewhere. We were on our way somewhere else and saw a Marshalls. And I said, well, let's just pull in there. Went in there and and boom, there it was. And I said, yep, I'm getting it, got it. Came on, came right on out. I didn't even look at anything else and was happy to find that. And I actually like that fragrance a lot. Now, this is one I actually picked up over the weekend. And this is Polo Deep Blue. And this is also a Parfum Concentration. And I have to admit, I'm, I'm impressed with this one. Now, just because it's cold outside doesn't mean that the days aren't pretty, right? Right, so this is one I would reach for on those winter days where the temperatures are gonna be like, oh man, this smells so good. Where the temperatures are going to be in the 50s, you know, 50, 52, 53, and the sun's out, and I've gotta do some daytime stuff definitely one I would reach for with a nice hoodie or a nice sweater on. I would keep this one casual. I would not try to dress it. Man, I just got a whiff of the citrus in the top of that. So imagine Polo Blue, the original Polo Blue, with more aquatic notes added to it and more citrus added in the top. And that's what you have with this one. 
Now I'll be honest, I've seen other reviewers review this fragrance and they say it's just another boring Ambroxan cologne. Now, I totally disagree. I totally disagree. I, I think I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $49 for a 100 mil. No, 120, 125 mil because this is a 4.2 ounce bottle. And I like it. I, I'm, I've sprayed it on several times since I got it and just, you know, sat around just sniffing myself. I've yet to wear it out, so I can't tell you about the compliment factor. Longevity uh, for a polo fragrance on this one is decent. I, I think I wore this to bed on my wrist and I could still smell it when I woke up the next morning. So that that's pretty decent for a polo fragrance because they're not known for their um, performance and unknown for their projection or their longevity but that's what I get from this one man just a brighter more aquatic take on the original polo blue now I know you're saying Trey but it's the winter time do we really want to wear a bright uh, blue fragrance again depending on what that old heater in the sky is doing if it's one of those days where it's dreary, dark, and gloomy, no, this is not probably what you're gonna reach for. If you walk outside like we do in the South, we stick our head, it doesn't matter what the temperature is, we gotta feel it. So you open up the door, stick your head out. If it's one of them, you go, it ain't that bad. This may be one you reach for. Now, if it's one of them, you stick your head in the door and you, you have to pull a Reverend Bishop Bullwinkle, no, no, to the no, no, then this is not what you wanna reach for. But if it's bright and it's pretty outside and you're like, man, I got to go do some Christmas shopping or, or got to go pay a few bills before the game come on and I want to get right back. I think this is one that would work wonderful in those situations because in the opening, you get the, you get just a very bright citrus in that middle to dry down. You get that familiar familiar DNA of the original polo blue and I think it is wonderful I like it I, I really do I'm uh, pleasantly pleasantly surprised and impressed with this fragrance I like it I like it a lot and if you see it out you may want to pick it up now disclaimer is it the reinvention of the wheel it's not it's not it's a blue fragrance so no it's not going to be something um, you know groundbreaking I don't have it anymore I sent it to my boy JP I had a scent bird decant of histories de profum just uh, not another blue bottle man that is a beautiful beautiful blue fragrance it's not uh, cheap though it's it's a little pricey all these can be had at reasonable prices but that's a beautiful blue scent that you can wear in the winter time or year round as well but I don't have that one anymore so it's not gonna make this video I had to bless my boy JP with that one but polo deep blue parfum I like it I like it a lot again take the original polo blue and add a very bright citrus opening to it and then think about the polo blue dry down and that's what you have with this bad boy as in, and when i move i get a whiff of that narciso rodriguez blue now which that is a niche quality fragrance guys that is niche quality right there or as mitch <laughs> as mitch Epo used to say back in the day that's the niche joking we had a little thing going you know And again, that silver cap, this one right here, silver cap collector's edition, very subtle projecting fragrance, laying very close to the skin, especially for a parfum concentration. But again, it's more woody than this one and the original Polo Blue. This one is more citrus in the top. This one is more woody, if you're wondering what the difference in the three would be, the original Polo Blue. Add more woods with this one, more citrus with this one. Now, moving along, but uh, but again, 
Polo Deep Blue Parfum. Beautiful little scent. Where am I at? Got two more. This next one is an Ambroxany type of fragrance. And again, it falls in the realm of Sauvage and uh, Invictus and all those blue fragrances that, you know, get a lot of talk. And listen, I like all of those fragrances. I find those fragrances to be very wearable, very appealing, and very affordable. They're crowd pleasing, but everybody knows about those fragrances. So I like to maybe bring some to your attention that you don't know about. Little compliment getter, and I picked this up last Christmas, around Christmas time, and it is from the house of Davidoff. And it is run wild. And you see the levels on this bad boy. You see the levels. The thing about blue fragrances is they are, I can't get the top off y'all, year round. Man, this smells good. Type of fragrances. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a compliment puller. This is a unsolicited compliment puller, much like uh, as I see, look at it right here. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit is a compliment puller. This one is too. And you see the level on it. I've wore this to work several times in the dead of the winter. And I can't get to my register before somebody's going, Oh, Trey, you smell good. What is that? What is that you got on, Trey? That smells good. Is that that savage? I'm like, no, it's not that savage. But nonetheless, this is a beautiful Ambroxany blue type of scent. And the reason I wanted to tell you about this one is because I picked it up last Christmas in a gift set at, oh, that smells so good. Man, that smells good. Mm. That's nice, that's, that's nice. If I run out of this one, I would definitely repurchase it. It's got a clean vibe to it as well. It's that blue and baroxin type of jam. Very, very clean. Again, this is a hoodie type of scent right here. Could you dress this up? You could. Would I? No. No, no. I wouldn't. I would keep it hoodie, uh, sweater, you know, a nice, uh, 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 maybe a nice cardigan with a t-shirt up under it, you know, something like that. That's how I would keep it with this one. I would keep it dressed casual. Wouldn't dumb it down, but I wouldn't suit and tie it either. I would keep it right there in the middle. Nice, nice light jeans with a dark sweater, something like that. That's what I would do. Dab it off, run wild. But the reason that I'm telling you about this one is because you may just run into this in the rag stores this time of the year. And if you do, I definitely think you should pick it up. Speaking of rag stores, um, I was talking to my homeboy, Mr. Eccles, Mr. Lester Eccles, Lester Eccles, as he came in my store the other day, Mr. E as I, as I call him, and he and I was chopping it up about fragrances, and it, you know, it was just like yada, 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 woo, I hadn't been to my local Ross in a while, or my local TJ Maxx, because they just hadn't had anything, so I've been trying to be more selective with my purchases. Um, and I said, he had bought a fragrance that I saw this weekend, and I left it because I was just, you know, Again, I just bought the Tom Fords and I just got the Polo, so I was just like, I don't need this one. I will eventually add it. That fragrance is uh, from the house of Guess, which is a beautiful line of fragrance. The Guess Seductive line. All those are good fragrances, guys. They're good. They're really, really good. They had Seductive Red for $19, and I was just like, uh, I kind of want that fragrance. And he bought me a sample of it. Good fragrance, which I may, um, I may review it later or I may wait till I purchase the bottle. But I'm saying that to say this, we were having a conversation about fragrances. And I said, well, Mr. E, where did you pick yours up at? He said, I bought it from our Ross. And I said, okay. I said, well, did they have anything? His response was classic. He said, yes. He said, they had everything that you don't want. <laughs> if you, he said, either you've already had it or you, you don't want it. He said, but they were stocked. I'm saying that to say, now is the time to get out to the rag stores. Cheapo sent me a video of somebody finding Mont Blanc Explorer in a gift set for 20 bucks. Now's the time to get out to the rag stores between now and the end of the year, and you're gonna find yourself some pretty good deals. All right, now, I digress from that. Moving on. Where am I at on this video? 18 minutes, all right. Last but not least, you can't have a fragrance 
video about blue fragrances and not include this one in there. And it is from the house of Chanel. And it is Bleu de Chanel, the parfum. Bleu de Chanel EDT is one of my favorite scents. It's one of my favorite Swiss Army fragrances. If I'm around somebody that don't like fragrances, Chanel always does the trick. It always works. Blue de Chanel always works. But when it's a little bit colder outside, I like the Parfum and then I like uh, the EDP as well. But I like the Parfum the best for this time of the year. And every time I move that Narciso Rodriguez Blue Nar cuts up. But this one is just blue and woody. That's what I get from this one. I think it's toned down a little bit on the grapefruit, but up a little bit on the woods and still got that blue and broxen type of jam going on. But this one to me is a beautiful scent. I love it. It's a little bit darker, a little bit richer, a little bit less of a projecting fragrance, but still, nonetheless, it smells good. And this is one, as the temperature drops and gets a little bit cooler, I will definitely get on my skin as it's going to be cool this weekend. So I'm about to pull out some of my polo sweaters or whatever, and, you know, try to get a little grown on you. I'll try to get a little bit, try to bring the little Bella Fonte out on you. But nonetheless, this is one I will probably be playing. Uh, spraying on my skin from the house of chanel it is blue d chanel the parfum again think of the og and the grapefruit grape uh, grapefruit in the top and then think of this one with that toned down a little bit with a little bit more woods in the base and that's what you got beautiful beautiful fragrance the woods in this really really comes through and i like it all right, guys, that is it. That has been five fragrances from my collection that I think you should wear if you have them this time of year because I think they work well. I think they're blue fragrances that you can pull off in the winter. With that being said, this video has been long enough. I am going to get off of here, edit it, thumbnail it, get it up so you guys can see it. You already know the drill and the spill. I love you all and may God bless you all. And thank you so much for returning to the scene of the crime. It means the world to a small time reviewer like myself. That being said, guys, I love you all and God bless you all. Till next time, peace.